The Duchess of Cambridge cut an elegant figure in a vibrant red coat from Eponine as she arrived at the National Portrait Gallery today to meet photographers featured in her hold still book as it topped the bestseller list on its first day today. Kate Middleton, a keen photographer, started a campaign during the first lockdown last year to ask the public to submit images which captured the period. Her new book Hold Still, A Portrait of Our Nation in 2020, features 100 final poignant and personal portraits selected from 31,000 entrants. The Duchess looked stunning as she arrived at the gallery in central London earlier today, stepping out of the car in a bespoke vibrant red coat from Eponine, which is price on application only. The London boutique is a favorite of the mother of threes, who previously wore a 1,650-pound coat and a top and skirt costing £1,200 from the brand in 2016. She paired the striking coat with simple brown accessories, including a trendy new £295 micro handbag from Demolier and a pleated tan midi skirt. Earlier this morning, the Duchess revealed the judges of the Hold Still competition, as well as the participants, had left 150 copies at places that gave us hope during lockdowns in collaboration with the Book Fairies organization. Kate shared a video as she placed the book, which was shot to the top of the bestseller list, next to a fountain outside Kensington Palace, writing, Let the search begin. We've joined the book fairies for the day to share copies of Hold Still Around the UK with you. Each copy is adorned with a gold book fairy sticker, gold ribbon, and has a letter from the Duchess tucked inside. The Duchess appeared animated as she arrived at the gallery in central London today, cutting a striking figure in a vibrant red coat from London boutique Eponine. The piece, which is from their Autumn Winter 2018 collection, but hasn't been seen on the Duchess in public before, features a mandarin collar and pretty button detailing. The Duchess paired the striking coat with simple brown accessories, including her new Demolier micro handbag, and opted for a pleated tan midi skirt beneath the coat. Her long brunette locks were styled into her signature bouncy blow dry style as she placed the book onto the ground. During the visit, Kate met with Nicholas Cullinan, director of the National Portrait Gallery, who has confirmed that the final 100 hold still images will become part of the gallery's national collection. She also met with hold still entrants, Lottie Sophia, Nia's Maleknia and Claudia Burton, whose photographs feature in the book, to hear more about the stories behind their photographs and their love of photography. Later, she visited the Royal London Hospital to hear how art is commissioned by its award-winning arts and health service, Vital Arts, and displayed throughout its wards, waiting rooms and corridors to enhance the environment and, in turn, improve the patient and staff experience. Kate spoke with a small group of hospital staff who told her about their experiences of working throughout the pandemic and showed examples of some photographs which have been taken by staff from Bart's Health NHS Trust to document this period in history. The portrait, which has been gifted to the Royal London by the Duchess and the National Portrait Gallery, will hang in the hospital's main corridor as a reminder of the phenomenal efforts of NHS staff throughout the pandemic. Further portraits will be given to locations around the UK for public display over the coming months.